Bourbon Wine Life on the Bougie Black Brother Network. Welcome to Urban Wine Life. I'm Michael, your Bougie Black Brother, and I'm here for my weekly wine review. So, you know, we had a couple of different things in between, and I promise you a Vouvre. So, and I definitely wanted to have one because I just really had a taste for that. And a Vouvre is a little different because a Vouvre is the region of France as opposed to a type of grape. So a lot of people don't know that a Vouvre is actually a Chenin Blanc. C-H-E-N-I-N Blanc. B-L-A-N-C. Chenin Blanc. Some people say Chenin, but it's a Chenin Blanc. So what I got here is Vignoble Le Chateau, uh, or Le Chateau Vouvre. And it's a really good, good. I'm, I'm just very impressed. I was glad to get this. This was something that I really didn't expect because I haven't had it in a while. I had a actually Chenin Blanc from South Africa. And it didn't have the flavors and the complexities that I normally would get. But the Chenin Blanc right here is a really good transition from a Muscat, Moscato, or a Riesling. So as you start moving away from the sweeter, sweeter wines, you can jump right into a Chenin Blanc or specifically this Vouvre from France. And this is from the Lowell Valley. Um, that's in Vouvray. So this one is really, really cool. So if you look at it, I'm sorry, I got, I got this right by the window. You can see the actual, um, sun and everything kind of blocking that out, but is a Vignoble Le Chateau or Le Chateau Vouvray 2016. So really, really good. Low Valley. See it? Uh, so really, really good. And I'm saying good because I'm just excited by it. Sometimes I don't get a good wine up front and I kind of talk through it. But I, after I taste the first two or three glasses, I was like, oh, let me hurry up and do this review before I drink the whole bottle. So and this is what we have. So let's talk about the notes that they actually um, pronounced on here and what they talk about. It's a lot of pear and pineapple. So on the Swedish side of the pear, and you definitely taste these pineapples. And it says a little wet stone and jasmine with a little petrol in the nose. So when you smell that little, like if you smell gasoline, you're like, ooh, some, I smell gasoline in that way, petroleum, petrol. That's what you kind of have that slight smell, which is weird. But once you smell it, you get that and you go, wow, OK, I get it. That's what it kind of smells like. And you get some of that stone um, kind of aroma that pops off of that, too, or mineral uh, aroma that comes off. And this one is semi dry. So that's the other reason why I really like it, too. I love to have anything that's sweet, that's dry, because when it's fruit forward and you, you, you taste that sweetness or fruitiness and then it's dry enough to be gone. So you don't linger on a lot of sweet, 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 sweet. You know what I mean? It's kind of like sweet and then it gone because it's a semi dry. If it's dry, you taste it and boom and it's gone. But with all of these little complexities, it's like really, really cool. So I really enjoyed it. But let's start like we normally do. Um, Sat it out. It was chilled and I really wanted to just start jumping into it i put a lot in there because you know i'm gonna drink all of that regardless so let's get a whiff so i'm getting that pears so maybe this is where the pear comes from i'm glad i, I read it but uh, initially i smelled uh, a lot of the minerals the, the dry stone and stuff like that get another whiff yeah, I got a lot of that. So that was pretty cool. And you're getting that pear. So when you get those like sweetie pears, not prickly pear, but a, a regular uh, pear, you're getting that. So that's pretty cool. You, you, you smell all the rest. 
So let's get it, uh, let's taste it. Let's jump into the taste. So I love this. I really do. Got that pineapple taste. Um, slightly on the honey side. You know, it's a, it's, it's a little bit of that honey. Um, they said a grapefruit pit. I'm not getting grapefruit. Um, you, you do taste some of the mineral um, feel out of that too. So that's pretty cool. But it's funny because you say mineral, but once you get used to it and you smell wet stone, or if you go into like a freshwater lake and, you, and you're kind of washing your face or try to, try to drink a little bit and the rocks and everything that's inside of there, once you get that taste, once you get that smell, that's what you're getting out of this. And it's really, really, really good. And um, this is just one of them that I, I just was excited for because I, I, I brought two different uh, Vouvray's or Chaman Blancs and I was ready to say, I'm looking forward to this. I know a Vouvray's a B and G, a Barton and Giuseppe or Barton and Gastro. I gotta remember the name next time. I'm sorry. I used to get them a lot, but I started I stay with France if I really want a good Chaman Blanc. Anything outside of that is not as fruitful and it's not as dry. So it's it's kind of bland tasting. Um, but okay. But when you get these Vouvray's, it's a little more complexities. You get the minerals, you get a, a slight bit of acidity that's really not overwhelming with the acidity too. Um, but it's really, it's, it's just so good to me. And that the bitterness is not really there, but it gets there and it sits, the tannins is like non-existent, but you still keep a slight flavor that's in there. It's a $10 price point, uh, 10 to $12. So it won't break the bank. Um, but this one is really good. I, I had it with a fruit salad. And then I then later on for dinner, uh, I actually had it with some greens, mashed potatoes, and some roasted chicken. And boy, did that go really well with that because it, it had those complimentable flavors. But if I say that's wrong, it's, you know, just refer to me earlier. Vignobles Le Chateau. Um, Lowell Valley, Lowell Valley Vouvray 2016. Try it. You love it. Very, very good wine. So urbanwinelife.com. Hit that or Urban Wine Life on all your podcast downloads or Bougie Black Brother Network on YouTube. So pick us up. Hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you next week on Urban Wine Life. Later. Later.